never thought you'd see me like this. Just kidding, you guys have probably seen me worse. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. It is the last week of March, I think. Yeah, it's the last week of March. And I have got some serious bags and like dark circles under my eyes. So I'm using these. Hopefully it will get rid of them. I'm using them like every day until this wedding. All right, so today I have four, I need to take these things off my eyes. I have four million things to do. Like so crazy. So my friends are getting married in two days and oh, look how much better that looks. Although you didn't see them before. Um, my friends are getting married in two days. And tomorrow starts the official, like, wedding stuff, I guess. Um, we have, like, the boys are going to play foot golf in Charlotte. And they're leaving at 8.30 in the morning. And then I have a bridal luncheon from, like, 11.30 to 2. They won't get back probably until about 2-ish. We all have to leave for the rehearsal dinner at 4 4 15 because the venue is an hour and 15 minutes away so we just have like a whole day tomorrow of stuff that we that we'll be doing with our friends so like i wanted to get laundry done today i wanted to get my sheets washed today i have to do my nails today i have to get a tan today i have to tan my mom <laughs> steam my dresses make sure sam has everything I'm not sure if i've ever told you guys but sam actually did not wear his own underwear to our wedding he was supposed to have his class ring from college, his underwear, his watch, and his socks, and his sunglasses. Those were five things, and he completely forgot all but his watch. I don't even know how. I guess I was just like, I assumed that because he was a grown man, he could get his own stuff, but I didn't pack him a bag. And so for our wedding, he didn't have anything. Like, they had to use a different pair of glasses like he got all of his groomsmen the same kind of glasses so that they could wear them for a picture and his glasses are actually different if you look at the picture like you can you can't tell but they're different so i have to just make sure that for this wedding he has his underwear his sunglasses his watch his class ring his socks like you know whatever so he ended up uh thank god one of his old roommates lived very very close to our venue so he was able to like go back, get him some underwear, get him some socks. Cause they also had matching socks that they were supposed to be wearing. He forgot those. Um, and he was able to like just wear his friends. But for this wedding, it's an hour and 15 minutes away. So like, and it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in Union, South Carolina. So if he forgets something, like he's just gonna have to go commando. I don't think anybody wants that. So I am just, I don't know if you guys can hear. I legit have all of the laundry going right now. Uh, started a load two. I'm on load two actually. We probably have a full full load. Bed is already stripped. Those go in next, and then I'm steaming my dresses. So I am going to show them to you guys. They're so 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 pretty. I'm gonna hang them actually over here because I want to show them to you guys. Two of them are from Amazon. You really like can't really see it because the curtain is black. But this is my bridesmaid's dress. It is a long, gorgeous black dress. It's already got like um, cups in the chest and then it crosses. What I love even more is that the back has this like really elegant um, like clip almost. It's, I don't know, it's really pretty. I'll so then, not sure if you guys can, probably can't see this one. Sorry, my dog is barking. Duke Energy guys here. Um, this is just that flowy black Amazon dress that I'm obsessed with. I'm wearing it to the rehearsal and I'm wearing this polka dotted one that I've posted on my Instagram before from Amazon as well to the bridal luncheon tomorrow. So I just have to like steam those. Oh, I also have to go to the grocery store. God, I have so much to do today. Like, I don't, what is he losing? What are you losing your mind about? He's not even in our yard anymore, Doug. <sighs> I have to finish packing my bag. I just have 4 million things to do. So I figured I'd bring you guys along because I just want a friend. Sam's not here to, Sam's not here today. He has like, um, adjusting to him being a reporter is really hard. He has like the weirdest schedule because he just like will interview people 
when he has available time. And so also when events are going on. So like he has this spaghetti dinner from like 5 to 7 p.m. by myself for dinner. So it's just, I gotta figure all that out. But I'm going to probably do the laundry first because I think I just heard the dryer is finished and the washing machine will probably be done soon. So I guess we're gonna get started. Good morning! So, it is Friday. My friends get married tomorrow. I am so excited. I actually threw that down. I don't need to. I am so excited. I could just scream. Like, I cannot even handle the fact that this wedding is here. Um, so, Kaylee and Steven got engaged the week before, well, the week of, I guess, my wedding. They got engaged on that Monday. I think I've probably mentioned that a few times. You can watch the vlog right here if I can link it. It was, I was doing my wedding week vlogs and my friend, Steven, was like, hey, I want you to throw me a surprise party. And I was like, that's not how that works. And he was like, no, I'm gonna ask Haley to marry me. So they've legitimately been engaged since the week of our wedding. So like, it was just the best week ever. And so now it's their turn and I'm just, I'm floored. I'm so excited for them. Um, I like woke up this morning so excited. So I'm not working today. I took the day off, like took a vacation day for it because I'm going to a bridal luncheon. I put my contacts in. I need to leave it about 15 minutes. Um, I finished up my makeup and my hair. We're trying out different eye look today. It's kind of subtle, but still a little bit glam. It is from the Tartlet 2 palette. So just trying out and then I'm so I'm wearing an Amazon dress with some Target shoes I'm not sure if you guys can really even see those the floor is a little dirty but um, I'm just wearing like these shoes tomorrow to no I'm wearing these shoes tonight in black to the rehearsal and I'm wearing these shoes tomorrow in black to the wedding so they're really good shoes just figured I'd wear them today I'm just so excited these are my rings. I have been wearing more rings lately. I don't know why. I um, have my wedding ring. And then these two are actually Miranda Fry. It's supposed to be worn like this. It's like a Miranda Fry Avery, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what they're called. But that is um, those rings. And then I just like to kind of spread them out. Because I'm just, I have always been a lover of multiple rings. So. Let's see what we're doing bracelet wise. So I want to wear these because the weirdest reason ever, do you guys love it when bracelets make noises? I do. When they hit together, they make like that perfect bracelet noise. And I know that you girls know what I'm talking about. And so I'm gonna wear these two. They're like Cartier dupes. I'll link them in the description bar below. And then Maybe nothing on this wrist over here? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should. I 
and I know what jewelry to wear because I want to wear it all. I want to look like a Christmas tree when I leave my house. Like I want to glisten everywhere. <sighs> I have no idea. So let's just play it safe. Should we do, oh, should we do these because they're simple? Or should we do these because they're more simple? I think these just because they show up a little bit better. And I'm not wearing a necklace. It's got a lot of, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got a lot of ruffles to it, so. Probably just need to play it simple and then do just the bracelets. I did go ahead and just put these on one finger. It's not a big deal. And then earrings. Okay, so I think we're good to go. This is the palette that I used. It's the Tartlet in Bloom, Tartlet 2 in Bloom palette. I'm not sure. Yeah, Amazonian clay. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And I also tried out, um, I have a sample of the Smashbox primer. If it wears like it's wearing right now, your girl is never gonna like stop wearing primer. I love it. So, okay, I have to upload some videos to my computer now. And then I'm gonna get going. Don't think I'm gonna get the vlog much else today. We'll see, I'll try, but I'm not gonna promise anything because this is Kaylee's weekend and I don't wanna be shoving a camera in her face. So. Talk to you guys later. It has been a few hours. I think this is maybe last where I left you guys. Um, the sweetest bridal luncheon ever. So, just so my nose needs a little bit of powder. And by powder, I mean just literally what's left over from the brush. So, we ended up going to um, a restaurant in town, kind of like in the county, I guess, where we live sweetest people ever some of the uh like grandmothers and aunts and just people that like have grown up with her but I don't know if you guys know the blogger you probably do Katie McFarland so she's k-a-t-e-y and I actually think I started following her when she was Katie Hellman now she's Katie McFarland she's related to the bride so she was there and so we were all like Katie McFarland like we were geeking out and so finally like the way it was set up the room was like there was like this big U the way the tables were and I was like I am geeking out I can't walk up to this girl or I'm gonna look like such a loser and so I kind of waited we ended up all sitting down and I looked at Kaylee's sister and I was like you have to introduce me to her because I'm losing my mind so she walked up and the first thing out of my mouth was I'm geeking out Do better, Mariah, just do better. She's so, so precious, like so sweet. Um, she looks just like Kaylee, and I knew that they were related, but I didn't think they were gonna look that much alike, and they look identical. So it was just cool to meet a blogger. Like, she's so awesome. Um, you should definitely follow her if you don't. I need to put lotion on, my legs are so dry. So we actually got our gifts already. She ended up, gave us these gorgeous, like, brushed gold hoops and then that little knot bracelet right there and it has an M on it um, a bag that has my name on it a little wine glass tumbler and then a shirt to wear tomorrow and a hanger so we got a lot of gifts we were showered for sure and we are actually heading out very soon so the venue is about an hour and 20 minutes away and um, we want to just make sure we get there on time and get there to help and all that stuff. So we're leaving like very early. So Sam is showering right now, gonna get dressed. He just got home. I mean, and we have to leave very soon. So I think I'm just gonna finish packing my bag maybe for tomorrow. And then I think that'll probably be it for today. Um, so I guess I need to get started because I'm kind of running out of time. It's gonna be late when we get home.
if you guys are going to be able to see lots of brushes. So, I think, and then I am packed for this wedding. Oh my gosh, we cannot believe it's happening. Yeah, it, it, it does, yeah, absolutely, it does. Absolutely, but the other way takes you 500 turns. And it does. does. That's, that's the way we went last, last, last time. Last time. Like, yeah. 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 And you're like, you're like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tired. Excuse me, Addy. So my face is breaking out. I don't know why. I've done something to it. I think it's something I've been eating because this isn't like a normal place for me to break out. And I have like this whole video didn't show them well, but I got this one. Anyway, so our friends are married. <laughs> it has been literally the most magical weekend ever. Ever. Um, you saw a few clips just now. One of them I took early in the morning when we first got to the venue. Did not want to like be videoing a lot. It was things were crazy. And then that last clip you saw, we thought that all of the groomsmen were locked in the RV. So there was an RV parked outside the venue because one of the bride's family members had come, parked it brought it, it was super nice, like one of the nicest RVs I think I've ever seen. And they ended up, that is where, can you guys stop? That's where all of the food was for the bridal party during the day. So it was like, they didn't want to have the kitchen open that was like at the venue because that was where they were prepping for that night. So all the food was in there. And so we were like thinking, oh, the groomsmen are in there eating and the bride's father came in and was like, the groom, the groomsmen are locked in the RV. And so we go outside and we think they're joking. Like we were like, okay, there's a soccer game on right now. Of course the RV's locked and they can't get out. Well, then we see the what a bridesmaid in there. And I was like, okay, let's get her out. And her mother and her mother was freaking out. And so we're thinking this whole time they are locked in. So basically what happened was the door got shut really hard and it jammed and they could not, it was unlocked, it was locked. It, I mean, went back and forth, but we could not get it open. So I don't know what actually happened. They finally got it open. There was one groomsman in there. <laughs> it was actually the groom's family, which is even worse. Like we need them for the wedding. And we were like an hour and a half away from the wedding at that point. So we were kind of like low key panicking, but it was, it was fine. It was hilarious. And like the bride and groom had no idea they were all taking their pictures. So like, when we all got together, we were like, Kaylee, oh my God, guess what? The groomsmen, we were told they were locked in the RV, but they weren't, it was the groom's family. It was just this like funny little joke. So it was beautiful, it was perfect. I think I'm gonna finish this vlog out here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it so it can go up tomorrow. I have a lot of work to do today, so I'm not even going to try and vlog or even promise it um, because I'm already behind on like, oh, I need to film three videos today and take my vlog pictures what so i'm gonna go ahead and peace out thank you guys so much for watching make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here i'm so glad you could join along for kaylee and steven's engagement on my main channel in my wedding week vlogs all the way to now when they're married so thanks guys love you so much and i'll see you in my next video